This is May's book two, chapter seven, part two. Some took the dare and came a little closer. Possibly they were high or drunk enough with liquid courage and openly shown their lost eyes staring fixedly at me, leaning back like they were sitting down. And I would suddenly turn to face them, sharp and close, and spook them with a confident smile and hang my head right over their small time self-contained operation flare my nostrils until they begged off and staggered away with great confusion and fear reloaded. Then Mays would come out with padded arms and I would laugh knowing he was all sandwiched up. What? he would say every time like he didn't know what was so funny. And then walking away together, my hand in the crook of his ice cream arm, helping him feed those wrapped delights out the sleeve two at a time. He would toss the wrappers in the air, not giving a damn about littering. I would try to catch them and throw them away properly and give him a verbal lashing or two, by which he would look at me funny and innocent-like, then start coming on as though he wanted to romance me in a vacant lot. Some guys don't have a romantic bone in their bodies, and I could forgive him that. If I had to guess, my soft skin and the sugar juxtaposed against brick and mortar, turned him on. Hell, if it was cold enough, there might even be some heavy breathing piping out of an industrial smokestack or two. I found simple gestures to be from the boy's heart, diluted past a dirty mind. I thought he was nice for a boy who didn't have nothing much at all, but sure as steel, he had me. I was often melting anyway not unlike the ice cream.